Although the coven still stands tall, with my success in acquiring my offering to the high chair, you two seem to have failed. And I can't seem to wrap my head around the fact that you two are supposed to be special. <laughs> Speaking of offerings, the last one seems to have tamed his monster. <laughs> How is that demon settling inside of you? <laughs> For now, put your pet away. There is business to be done and chaos to spread. As for the two of you, this battle that the three of you will go into. This will be your redemption. But for now, take a knee and accept your penance. When the high chair arrives, <laughs> they will welcome you. or they will punish you. Welcome everyone to UCW Star Slam. Mark Roberts, Dante Allen here. Joined this week by Roy the Working Man Williams who has requested this time to get something off of his chest. But first, let's take a look back at the closing moments of UCW Gold Rush. Working man, you did not come out of that bout once again the premier champion. Tell me about it. Yeah, Mark, I'm pretty much pissed off about that. I had my opportunity. I'm so sick and tired of the coven stipping their nose in my business. You're sick okay. of the coven, huh? 
Yeah, yeah, I've been sick of yeah. the cousin for months yeah. now. You're not the only one, okay? How are you feeling yeah, about look, it? Look, look, look. They've been after us this entire time, and we got a big match coming up May 7th. This we is have true. our own problems, but right now we have the same problem, and that's the coven. You and Sean Tyler, always sticking his nose in our business, that's why I got us a six-man tag match tonight on Star Slam. A six-man tag? Yeah, six-man tag. So Sean Tyler, you punk ass, you can bring yourself out here, and I want you to see what we do to your boys tonight. The one problem, though, we need one more we guy. We need one more guy. Yeah, I only see two of you. So one more. Three of them. Uh, Two, three. I'll tell you what, I'll do anything to get my hands on the Coven or Sean Tyler. I just want to, I'm just done with them. So you want to run with the big dogs. So you want to do this? Us three. All right. Let's do it. Well, Coven, will you come out to play? It sounds like we've got a six man tag main event, folks. That and more to come tonight here on Star Slam. Shut up or shut up. So, Kodiak, how are you feeling after taking two weeks off? I'm feeling great. I'm doing a lot better. But I just, there's one thing I don't understand. Why are you putting yourself on the line for my May 7th match against the Monster Clones? It's just, it's just a motivator. You know, I have faith that you will be able to conquer the Monster Clones. And I actually think that you can do it without your, without your treatments. So what I'm saying is for the next two weeks, we're gonna discontinue your treatments. So I don't have treatments for the next two weeks. For the next two weeks, yep. Um, I have to go though, I have a very important patient waiting but, for but me. But we got so much more to talk about. Well, we can talk about it later. Um, but do me a favor, if you see anybody looking for me, just uh, tell them I'm not here, okay? Anybody? Yeah, anybody. Anybody looking okay. for me, I'm not okay. here, okay? You're not okay. here right now. No, we'll, we'll talk okay. later, gotta go. Okay. No more treatments for a bit. There he is, the UCW Ultimate Champion. Introducing first, from Flint, Michigan, he is the Ultimate Championship Wrestling Ultimate Champion, the Brutality King, Bry Sullivan! <laughs> Our champ is all man here, and I can't wait to see him completely squash that high idiot. And his opponent already in the ring, High Guy! What do you say, gentlemen, ready to fight? <laughs> First bout tonight here on UCW Star Slam. And uh, it is maybe less of a mismatch than some of Bryce Sullivan's opponents. High Guy has some size on him, but I'm not sure he has the experience or state of mind to take it to the brutality. I love this. This is sweet. I want to see Bry just pummel this, this idiot. Well, High Guy is sticking in there. He got a couple of shots in. Yeah. I mean. Just, 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 just to make, the, just to make the brutality king even madder than he already is. Bryce Sullivan headed in to put up or shut up on May seventh, where he will have two challengers to that ultimate championship. It's L.J. Lawrence and Jack Price. That's right. Put up or shut up. May seventh. Every single match will have a devastating consequence. As a matter of fact, in this triple threat match, the one who, who eats that pinfall will leave UCW forever. Bryce Sullivan taking down High Guy with a big back elbow. It's hard to imagine that Bryce Sullivan would be the guy leaving UCW four time UCW Ultimate Champion. The standard bearer for this promotion for a long time is Bryce Sullivan and we know that he isn't uh, he isn't planning on going anywhere absolutely this man is so so impressive with so many incredible impressive accolades but what's impressing me right now is him just wearing down that leg to high guy high guy makes the ropes we've got to break that hold drag him away from the ring champ Dr drag him away from the ropes champ i want to see him inflict more punishment <laughs> Not exactly a clean break from the champ. Oh! <laughs> Though that could be a clean break by the champ. Absolutely. He's gonna have to crawl out of here. Much like he crawls to his bags of Cheetos. 
Bryce Sullivan putting the boots to High Guy. We saw recently High Guy interrupt an interview, and uh, Bryce Sullivan did not take kindly to it. And I guess this is uh, this is where that gets High Guy. That's right. Bryce Sullivan just just kept saying hello to this man. <laughs> In the corner by Bryce Sullivan, the ring actually moved. It did. It did. Oh! And High Guy may be on his way out of the ring, or perhaps just wow. getting better acquainted with the steel post. Oh my God! And Bryce Sullivan just destroying the leg of High Guy. I thought we had seen a different tone from Bryce Sullivan as of late, but this is the sort of aggression that uh, we're used to seeing from the champ. <laughs> wow, wow. He is just picking apart. Hi, guy. Nice disrespectful boot to the face. Do it again, champ. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, I slapped him. <laughs> But how's that going to work against two men on May 7th, against LJ Lawrence and Jack Price? You think that Bryce Sullivan will have as easy a time there? I think I think he's got his work cut out for him, but I, I, I think that Bryce Sullivan will still stand tall because he is a, our champion for a reason. Oh, my God. That was... Uh, Bryce Sullivan, Ian, some canvas there. Hi, guy, hooked the leg. Hi, guy, got lucky there. One count only, says the referee. That'll tell you what kind of shape Bryce Sullivan is in. That's right, he is, a, he is an absolute beast. I don't doubt that you would enjoy oh. <laughs> seeing LJ Lawrence take this same offense from Bryce Sullivan. I know you're not exactly a fan. He could be going for it. That, that new maneuver. This is the King's Clutch, the King's and he's clutch. got it locked in on oh, High man. Guy. He says no, High Guy's going to have no choice. Oh, absolutely now. He's got no choice. I don't think High Guy is there going is. anywhere. There it is. Wow, absolutely impressive. That was an incredible maneuver. Here is your winner, Bry Sullivan. Show some respect, Mickey Robbins. He is your UCW Ultimate Champion, Bry Sullivan. But what are you gonna do, you know, man? I guess he's just the champ for a reason, you know? I mean, I gave him my best, but my best just wasn't good enough today. He's the champ. Hallelujah! Listen here, you would've won that match if you had the village backing you, but you didn't. You know what you had backing you? You had the devil's lettuce. I can smell it on you now. Do, do you have the Holy Spirit in you? Do, do you want to join the village? Whoa, whoa, why you? Listen, man, listen, listen. I know we get a little crazy here in the Midwest wrestling capital of UCW. Well, you know, we got a good thing going on here, man. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not hurting anybody. I can't take this anymore. I smell, I said I smell the devil's lettuce on you. Mitchell, let's get out of here. Boy, you think about joining the film. Okay. Buzzkill? On Saturday, May 7th, UCW presents Put Up or Shut Up. Bryce Sullivan will defend his UCW Ultimate Championship against LJ Lawrence and Jack Price in a triple threat match where the loser leaves UCW. Tickets are on sale now. Go to ultimatechampionshipwrestling.com. Whew. All right. Two weeks, no treatments. I can do this. I got it. Hey, Kariak, how are you? Hey, Ray, I'm doing doing pretty good. Yeah. Is she in? Who, the Abby? Dr. Yeah, Abby? her. No, she's not here right now. She's uh, she's doing a field study. You That's tell what her that when I get my hands on her, she's going to need more than a couple of doctors to put her back together. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, let, her know. I'll that, let her know. That's besides the point for right now. I know you have a big match coming up on May 7th, and yeah. you know you're my favorite teddy bear. So how about Yay. a big bear hug? Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, good luck. <sighs> Hallelujah! Yes! Yes, the ball is back on the Introducing ball. first, the Holy One from Holiest Village, New Haven, Michigan, Father Marquise. Hallelujah! 
Looks like Father Marquise has found himself a follower here, holding that collection plate. Did you bring any money? I don't have anything for him. <laughs> this follower. I've seen if Nick Moss has anything. I think the rep usually comes to the ring with empty pockets. <laughs> he actually had some cash on him. Did he? What did he hand him? Hand him a bill? He did. It was an. It was a bill. It could have been a one. Could have been a hundo. Good grief. It was. It was probably a dry cleaning receipt. Hi friends. Hi guys. There he is. Dante. Yeah. Okay. Keep walking, and there, boy. And his opponent. Still a little salty about that. That incident with him. From the nearest forest, Kodiak! Waving at me like we're friends. Yeah, you do have a bit of a history with Kodiak. He gave you, he gave you a bear hug of sorts, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that he did, that he did, right in the corner. It this was, very uh, ring. And then he pummeled, he pummeled the mustachio one's face. He ruined my mustache, Mike. It was uh, not quite the same as the bear hug he gave to Relentless Ray Larson. That's, that's right, that's right. Which, uh, but it was uh, that was that was a much more friendly bear hug than what I received. I'm not sure that Dr. Abby was actually out of her office when uh, Ray Larson came knocking there, but I guess that's neither here nor there. Wow! Dr. Abby not here at ringside today, and Kodiak going one on one with Father Marquise wow. takes Father down with a big clothesline. That's right, Kodiak laughing now after that clothesline. I Two big clotheslines to Father Mark. Is that? I spoke too soon. Dr. Abby is now joined us at ringside. What is she scolding this man? Uh oh. I'm not sure that this is business that needs to be taken care of in the middle of a match, yeah, Dr. Abby. Yeah, absolutely. I've been helping you for the past few months. I appreciate it. Come. Thank you. Obviously, you don't because you don't listen to The referee is counting. I'm not sure that this is really even something that should upset Dr. Abby, just that he had a conversation and now... And it's cost him this match. Count it out. It cost him this match. Wow. Here is your winner by count out, Father Marquis. Dr. Abby just chastising Kodiak ringside here on that ramp. And Kodiak looks absolutely distraught. Sounds like she didn't appreciate uh, anyone else giving Kodiak any kind of advice other than herself. That is two victories in a row now for the father, for the Holy One, Father Marquise. And they're leaving a little richer, thanks to the referee. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Mike! <laughs> well, folks, we know that Cannonball is one of the most popular wrestlers in UCW, but you will not see him in the UCW arena here tonight. I know you're looking forward to this, Dante. That's right. Human Cannonball is on his Loserweight Champion World Tour. <laughs> Take a look at this. That's my boy. <laughs> Uh, welcome everyone, this is Dante's Circus of the Stars and the Human Cannonball World Tour. That's right, that's right, he is a champion, he is a champion to his core. Not Spanish, no plantains. Banana, banana cream pie. That's fucking right. All right. Good 
guys are out. These guys are the absolute bee's knees, boss. Cat's pajamas. Absolutely. I don't think these idiots have any idea what it takes to make a nice, delicious pie. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much for your help. We are going to take this knowledge and make the absolute perfect pie. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bananas, banana cream pie. It is made of in time. Introducing first the team of Nick Green, Roy the Working Man Williams, and Chin Strap Jesus. Barrett. It is main event time, and we have main event caliber talent in the ring, with the exception of Nick Green. The pride of Saginaw, Nick Green. Uh, I'm not, that's not saying much for Saginaw, that's for sure. Trash can Green. He's going to fall out of the ring. And their opponents. Oh, God. Accompanied by Sean Tyler. They are the Coven. These, these men are absolutely terrifying being led out here by new UCW Premier Champion Sean Tyler. We might see, we might see four freaks, four freaks. Kyle Baird is yelling four freaks. <laughs> Nikki Ratu ripping the, ba the, the bags off the heads. Off those alkalites. Sean Tyler here with these men who he, um, I don't think it's fair to say he represents them. Maybe they are representing him. Maybe they are simply under his control. We've seen them do some very, very bizarre things. Sean Tyler punishing all three of these young men. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, a dark, twisted group here. Saying they need to redeem themselves after... Sean Tyler won that premier championship at UCW Gold Rush. He did not pin the former champion Kyle Barrett. He, in fact, pinned Roy the Working Man Williams. That was quite a shocker to me. I could not believe it. And Roy Williams and Chinstrap Jesus, though they have their issues with one another, there's a mutual respect there, Dante. I think so, I think so. Champion to champion. Both holding that premier championship in the past. And former champion, uh, former three-time champ, Roy the Working Man Williams going to work. Oh my gosh. Big spine buster. Roy goes for the first pin attempt of the contest. And yeah, I know Roy Williams really believed he was going to be coming out of that match. Many of the crowd in Saginaw of the UCW faithful believe that the working man was coming out of that match, once again being premier champion, but taken out from under him by Sean Tyler. Absolutely, now the working man tags in Nick Green. Yeah. Really, what unifies these three men is that they all have an issue with the coven. That's right. Wow. Big crossbody by Nick Green. Hate to say it, but that was a very nice athletic springboard from Nick Green. Why? Why can't you just admit it? Why do you have to hate to say it? Just call the things that happen in the ring, Dante. Well, you know, when you got a human trash can flying around in there, big elbow to the to the mush of that acolyte. And, and big drop kick and a nip up from Nick Green. That 
was impressive. I got to give it to him. You got to give it to Nick Green. I just hope this isn't recording while I say that. Oh, we saw a knee from the outside from Sin there taking Nick Green out. And the Coven now has the smallest member of the opposition stuck in their corner, following the evil orders of Sean Tyler, no doubt. Absolutely, they are just stopping, stopping Nick Green in that corner. Oh, Nicky might do it. Now he's doing it, going for a choke. He's choking him. Trying to knock that head right off of Nick Green's body. Whips Nick Green into the ropes. And it scoops in sidewalk slam. That might be it. Nick Green kicked out of that one. But he looks winded. That might have taken a lot out of him there. They're just trying to dismantle Nick Green. Big forearm to the face. Nick Green back in the corner. He does not want to be in. Tag to Sin. Nick Green out at his feet. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Did that you, was a kneecap right to the mush. Right. Did you see the velocity in which that knee made contact with the face of Nick Green? Oh, my God. More high velocity knees. Now to the back and the kidneys of Nick Green. Nicky Rock, too, still waiting for an opportunity into this contest. But more than that, working man Roy Williams and chin strap Jesus on the outside, desperate to get tagged in. Wow, they are, they are like a pack of wolves right now. Just taking apart their prey. Nick Green really needs to make it over to his corner and make the tag. That's, that's he right. goes up, he goes to the rope, and it's a sling blade. Now there's an opening. Nick Green really needs to make it to the corner. Tag the working man, tag chin strap, anything. This match is not going to go on much longer. That's right. The two former champions trying to cheer Nick Green on, trying to will him to crawl to, crawl to that corner, make a tag. Can he do it? He's almost there. And Nicky he does. Rock two is in, and so is the working man. Oh, big hellish just clothesline from the working man and to Nicky Rock two. One. Takes him down. Well, we know that the working man loves the hit. In the sharpshooter. That's right. Just, just breaking that back, bending that young man in half. I can't believe Nikki has not tapped out yet. Sean Tyler is ordering him not to. He says that he's got to go through this. Wow. That is a powerful man on your back. Oh, and come now, on, that is not how this is supposed to work. Referee is calling for the bell here. Calling for the disqualification of the coven. And now it's just absolute bedlam. It is absolute anarchy. Every member of both teams just, just beating each other. We are going to see Kyle Barrett and the working man Roy Williams go one on one for the number one contendership for the premier title on May the 7th. But they are on the same side in a war right now against the Coven. That's right. That's going to be one hell of an event here on, on, on May 7th here. And remember, remember, Mike, that if either the working man or Kyle Barrett lose that match, they can never compete for the premier championship again. Here he comes. Here's Shin Strap Jesus and Nikki Rod 2 fighting right in front of us here, right in front of the announce table. Ah, it's Saturday, May 7th. UCW presents Put Up or Shut Up. Bryce Sullivan will defend his UCW Ultimate Championship against LJ Lawrence and Jack Price in a triple threat match where the loser leaves UCW. Tickets are on sale now. Go to ultimatechampionshipwrestling.com. Sick of you, man. You're always in my business. Not playing with you, no more. You suck off. Me and you next week. 
I'm gonna beat your ass once and for all. Freak. You know, I have never seen a patient in need of my services more than you. I think your friend did the right thing by bringing you to me. And I think with just a couple controlled group exercises, you'll be perfectly fine. I think it's time for you to meet my other patient, Kodiak. <laughs>